What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors back again. And here, exciting news, we are opening, unboxing, the Renogy 100 watt solar panel kit. So this should come with everything we need. Uh, I've been itching all day, charging up this GoPro to do this video. So I haven't even touched it yet. The seal is still good. Haven't broken it yet. But anyways, so here we go. Let's bust into this thing. Came with just a little bit of foam here. Now I do know this morning when the mailman dropped it off, he dropped it off. Literally, I heard him thud it in my garage. So panel looks to be all right. Get all this foam off of here and then Nice, panel doesn't look broken. Glass is still good. Perfect. Awesome. Well, there's that panel. Now let's break into the box over here. Let's see what this has in it. All right. Looks like it has some contact information. Dear valued customer. All right. So probably just some info there. Um, not quite sure what this is. Probably find out more as we get going. It could be a temperature sensor, uh, either temperature sensor or a Bluetooth module. Not really sure. We'll get busted into that. Some, ooh, this is heavy duty stuff. Good thick PV cables here. So those will connect into the back of the panel. And then these must be, yep, these are to your battery. So that's awesome. Got the Rover Series MPPT. This is the 20 amp. So looks like this is going to be the manual. Probably going to have to bust into that. Awesome. Can't wait. Right here. If I can get it out of the box. Sounds like mounting hardware. Yep. So this is going to be your mounting hardware. Looks like they have self tapping screws washers, bolts, so that's going to be to mount it on top of the trailer. That's perfect. We're going to need that. And then back here, oh, looks like there's a piece on the ground. This must be the mounting hardware for the MPPT. And then you've got your Renogy 20 amp MPPT charge controller. So let's see take everything out of the bag here nice so on the bottom yep I was right so you've got that little piece the green looks like it connects right here that's the temperature you've got PV positive and minus battery positive and negative not minus and then load positive and negative I don't know that I'll be using the load so much this thing's fairly light feels like decent construction when I was looking at the reviews, everyone liked to talk about the, uh, the heat sink back here. Nice heat sink. Uh, even if you mount it to the wall, like I'm going to be mounting it inside of that little cabinet right there. As you can see here, this was my project last night. Super rough, but it'll do for uh, the batteries. But looks like even if you mount it, you'll have plenty of ventilation to cool it down. So yeah, awesome. Here's your cables. Now I didn't look at the back of the other or at the, of the panel, but I'm fairly certain that this had quick connects on the back and it does. Nice, so we can hook that up. Some information, module type is the 100 DSS. Max power at STC or your Pmax is 100 watts. Open circuit voltage looks like 21.6. Um, I'm excited. Only weighs 14 pounds. That's good because I don't have a walk-on roof. So I won't be able to... Uh, I'll have to install this into the roof itself. And it looks like even in the frame, you've got lots of mounting point options. So that's exciting. The frame feels like it's probably aluminum probably a good guess because it's so light but 
fairly sturdy. It's nice and thick, so that shouldn't be an issue with mounting it onto the roof. I'm hoping it can take highway speeds now. So just a quick glimpse here before I sign off. I did decide to hook it all up. Um, really cruddy, crummy day. I mean, it's just nasty out, but I do have the panel out. I've got the wires coming in. Now this is just a rough setup. No fuses are in yet. I was just trying to see if it'll work. Got everything hooked up to the battery. Coming over here, looking at the Renergy charge controller, the Rover. Scroll on through the menu here. So right now you can see we've got little sun and then the solar panels are charging the battery right now. The solar panels are gathering 14.4 volts at 0.07 amps. The battery is sitting at 91%. Now with this, excuse me, 94. Battery is sitting at 94%. Now with this charge controller, the battery voltage, depending on what kind of battery you have. Now because I have a Marine AGM dual, dual purpose, um, it probably won't ever charge up more than 90 three to 95%, maximum 98, but this battery is not meant to go all the way up to 100%. And I've got 13 volts on the battery. Right now I've got a zero amp load. I've brought in zero amp hours. I've discharged zero amp hours. And it's showing at 16 degrees Celsius. And then this is your load setting. Right now it's on manual, I'll show you that in a second. And then I'm showing no error codes. So back to the main menu, if I push here, you'll see that I've got lights or a little lights going to the light bulb. Um, that manual setting means that down here on the load terminals, if I wanted to, I could wire a load in there and turn it on and off manually. Now it's got automatic and all sorts of stuff. I'm just gonna leave it on manual because I'm really not gonna have anything hooked up into that um, at all, really it's optional. And I don't have the temperature sensor set up yet, but yeah, this is just proof of concept, making sure it works. Uh, before I install it into the trailer itself, which is over there. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that I had it all set up for a proof, proof of concept. I will be doing another video uh, of the partial install and the rough in. I'm going to be setting up our box here that's going to be going inside the trailer, and we're going to be wiring up all of the wires that we have in there right now, just the fan, the lights, and we'll get the solar all plumbed in. Got the battery over there charged up, ready to go. So we'll get all that just roughed in for now so that way the trailer is usable if we do want to go like camping or go out and about once they lift these restrictions we can do so also um, have a battery monitor coming in in the next couple uh probably in the next week or so so we'll be installing that nice little shunt that's going to go into the wiring system so we can monitor our battery voltage without having to use that which was a cheap little battery voltage meter or voltmeter and uh, i don't think it works very well so we'll just use that to charge our phones um but yeah, this is the Renogy Rover 20 amp MPPT 100 watt system. So if you like, I'll put a link down below. You can check it out on Amazon. I think it was like 200 bucks. Um, and you can actually increase up to 200 watts. So you can get another panel, which is only about $130, $140 to add into your system. So that's exciting. We'll get all, uh, get all this set up next and I'll do an install video. If you like what you're seeing, leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe. This is, again, probably the third or fourth video in a series of many while we get through this um, build for our trailer. So this is temporary. Spent all night using hand tools making that. Uh, but that's going to suffice until we actually get a cabinet built in. Um, but this is going to go in until we get our trailer built out. So, again, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay wild.